Sea of Skylines 2 is finally out, and I've been trying to figure out how to do the episode, um, or the series, so I, I've got a plan, because I'm back on YouTube, um, I have to get back into the algorithm, which means I need to start posting, which means I need to have more videos, I've been trying to make a series, I've been trying to record a series all day, and it's not working, so I'm going to do it this way, it's going to be completely unedited, We'll do 20 minutes of playing, and then I'll end it, and then do the next video. So that means I can crank out, uh, if I play for two hours, I can crank out six episodes in one day and spread them out throughout the day. So the algorithm's happy. I'm not. I'm going to be mid-ish happy because I don't like unedited videos. I don't find them entertaining, but other people do, so yeah. Sorry for the people that liked my, my um, cussing. Who knows, you might find something funny, you never know. So how this work is, I've got my phone, I've got 20 minutes, I've got a 20 minutes stop uh, timer. Once that rings, I just finish up what I do and then go on to the next one. Within that time, I have to take a photo of the city for the thumbnail. That's the only requirement. So, I won't start when I get into the game. I've been interested to do this one... Um, no. I'm not really good at this game. I usually make a huge city without... I usually make a city and then make a completely different city later on, which I regret afterwards. So, I won't do that. I haven't played this map yet, so we'll start with this one. Ash Flat. Yeah, actually, that sounds quite funny. I'll do that. So, I am indeed going with North American. I'm a big fan of the style. I'm not usually a European fan, and plus their buildings usually have more people in them. Someday I should probably play European, but we'll do that. Loading. Ooh. Oh yeah, so since this is a common trend with newer games, and I think people should have the lesson now that we're up to a stage of games where they're just going to be really um, performance heavy, which I don't know why people are starting to play now. Games have always been like that, especially newer ones. So, I have a Ryzen 7 with 32 gigs worth of uh, RAM. They're probably, I think they're running at 3600 hertz. Um, with a 8 gigabit graphics card. That's a big one for me. So, I can't have graphics up all the way. It is at 1080p on low. Uh, resolution quality is at max. What I mean by that is it doesn't look very pixely, which I hate. And that's the thing that's actually taking up all the performance out of my graphics card, which is sad. So once the C gets bigger, uh, you'll probably have to deal with that. All right. I will start now. There we go. Oh, shit. Fuck that one up. There we go. Who knows? I might actually cut it after all. Since these are short episodes, I probably can go through them very easily. Actually, I probably will. Anyways. Um... We've got a road. We've got a road coming out here. Going the intersection coming over here. This is actually a pretty good start. So we just continue off that. Like that. Ooh. Except I can't see where the angles are. There we are. So we'll put that all the way over there. We'll grab this and then we'll grab this. So we can see... This button allows us to see all the terrain and all that. Ideally, you want to go with the curve. Since this is going to be more off the roads, we're going to need blocks. Also, we're going to need to know where industry is going to go, because I forgot they have to go in this one block. So we'll make industry over, over this side. So that would be a good start. No, I have no idea what that is. Fucking plane. <laughs> so we need another one going off here. Going towards the train. Stop. And then same deal. We're just going to put a grid. But a pretty decent sizing. Size grid. Sizing grid. Ugh. So the last city I have had, um, the power was the problem. Funny enough, um, and more advanced uh, power stations cost me heaps. Money is a big thing in this. I thought it was going to be nice and easy, but it isn't. 
Not at all. Fucking hard. <laughs> Let's pause so we don't. I know you get shit tons of money, but I'm not even going to risk it. Uh, I don't get traffic lights yet. Uh, no, fuck it. You can just connect. Ah, oh, sweet. You're not traffic lights. Good. Alright, you should be good then. And then sewage can go up here with a flow of water. Oh, I'm going to make an upgrade to it already. So all the build... Uh, well, not all buildings, but most service buildings have... Uh, what you call upgrades. So that one I just placed as chemical purification, which means it reduces pollution. Anyways, enough talk. Let's get this city underway. We'll start with a big block of houses with a block of shops. Now, this is probably not a good idea because low density does not like, and I mean, it does not like Where's the word? Uh, noise. Medium doesn't mind, and obviously high doesn't mind because they're big things, but apparently low density, they can't stand it. It's a bit annoying if you want to put buildings next to each other or upgrade low density to medium density. In saying that, I get the feeling that uh, medium density... Uh, and high density, the same kind of people, while low density, it's like a different kind of people. They want a big house and a family. Low den uh, medium density or high density want a job or um, go to school. Now, the wind is not exactly precise. The wind can change, like everything. Mm. I have to admit, 20 minutes does not sound like a lot, considering how long things take in this. I mean, for example, five minutes is already gone. <laughs> we barely just placed down houses. Might actually up that three minutes layer if that comes not enough. Should probably go faster. So I believe I can add another thing of shops and probably two more blocks of houses. I need a lot of residential. So, how can I describe this game? Uh, actually, what's my review on it? I should probably say that. I say, play this game on low graphics, even on low graphics. I reckon you'll never ever go back to the first game. I bet you that. Unless you have a shit computer. Ooh, okay. Okay. Granted, if you have a weaker computer and like 60 frames a second, maybe the last game. But if you're me and you still play games on a square monitor with a she graphics card, I kind of get used to it. After, me, after playing 60 frames a second, I wish I'd want that all the time and for recording sake too. But you can't have everything, so yeah. Oh, look at that. The Burbia. But no, nah, this game is really good. Uh, they fix a lot of issues, especially with the roads. The roads are awesome. Ooh, tiny village. I'll get to you in a sec. So, you can make that shape and it works. Whoops. Like, you couldn't do this in the original game. If you put, um, what's it? If you put the uh, Anarchy mod, you probably could do this shape, but it would not look good. Now roads can morph together. And it's so good. It makes things look realistic. Like, I'll zoom into the street. It looks, it just looks like a town. Granted, a very small one, but it just looks like a town. Oh, all right. Don't put too many of those. Uh, they, they don't need a lot of space. Oh, shit. Okay. 
See? That little bit, and I've done that. So we just do one block of that. Oh, stop lagging. God damn it. Another... Whoopsies. Another thing I like. Let's say this house. Let's say, actually, let's go to this house. Um, oh, shit. No, there's no residence. Okay, there's one residence. Gabriella Layson. I can add her. I can add her and I get her profile. She's poorly educated, employed, and she's content right now. But she's wealthy. And it updates what she does, which is awesome. You can see the life of the sim. Uh, so sorry, uh, the people. Fucking. <laughs> Speaking of that, I'd say uh, the best way to explain this game is they morphed Sea Skylines with SimC. Now, after the reputation SimC got after the most recent game, which was like, fuck, eight years ago. That, that was ages ago. It wasn't even eight years ago. It was more than that. Shit. But um, they, they, there was points in it that I wish that other games had. Firstly, upgrading buildings. Well, you can't upgrade that. Upgrading buildings so they become more efficient. I like that. Um, in SimCity, I think the main point was that it was a very small amount of space and everything took heaps of space. They really encouraged you to make one block dedicated to a thing, which was really annoying. Um, but we won't dwell on that. Do I recommend this game? Uh, I would say... Ooh, I don't want to say it as an insult, I personally, I mean personally, I wouldn't pay $70 for a game, that's expensive, but is it worth $70? I say, wait, yeah, so there's, this is just, it, more stuff will come out, so I'll work, recommend waiting and wait until it's fully out when everything's out because right now the editor needs to come out soon um i i want to mess around and i realize oh shit it doesn't even have an editor um and apparently they go release it in a later date and something else too and personally i don't like saying if it's worth it especially if it's like 70 dollars I, I, I'm happy with it. I suppose, am I happy with it? Yeah, I'm happy with it. I'm playing hours a day. I'm playing this game hours a day. And yeah, I say I'm happy. That means the money might be worth it. It depends on the person. So this is a really stupid question. I really should stop talking about this goddamn Recent question. Recent spikes in demand have led to temporary local shortages in the city's fresh water supply. Oh, everyone's fine. The public should be aware that we are struggling to get the situation in hand. Oh, shit. This has been a local public service announcement. Why didn't you tell me what about kind of health care coverage? Have if it doesn't look to its past? Well, I say the question speaks for itself. Here on Second Moon, we know you can't move forward unless you keep both eyes steadily trained on what's behind you. Hmm. A housing shortage is driving up prices in the area. That's right, Glenda. But apparently that's not all good news. We're joined today by an expert guest, Professor Nutbutter. Welcome, Professor. Fucking Professor. So a housing shortage Not is bar. bad for the people trying to move here, right? Humans are programmed to desire certain... Do I want a landfill there? Yes, I do. I don't need to make it huge. Oh, fuck yeah, of course it does that. One, right, one final question, Professor. Is the housing shortage... Can I ask one question, you dick? By certain metrics, perhaps yes, in the short term. I like the sound of that. But what we are discussing is this... I just make a square landfill like that. And its effect on the human. Thank person. you, Professor. It is a question of priorities. So yeah, you're not supposed to put these guys together. The um. Sources tell us that our city has more services than we know what to do with. Right, you thank you. Uh, these guys. Oh, not noisy. Oh. 
Well, no. Oh, never mind me. Oh, shut up. Selling it and bringing money into local That's economy. right. You could almost say it's too much of a good thing. Or we could say that we're enjoying a positive trade Ooh, balance. Ooh, Rockstar Mansion. And the economy mansion. is booming. More after this. Yeah, I'm not paying attention to those because I hear it a million times. I'm not, uh, I'm usually pretty good at making everyone happy until later on when traffic becomes a problem. Uh, that's actually me in a nutshell, by the way. But yeah, I just hear the same messages. I've heard, I've heard that guy nut butter, like, I'm not even joking, like dozens of times. A dozen times, yeah. I'm going to say it seriously, I've heard him a dozen times now and I find that pretty annoying. I like what they're doing, but I wish it stopped. <laughs> I wish it had a bit of vi uh, variety. Variety? Vi vi oh, fuck. I wish it, like, he says the commercial district are booming, but I wish it was obvious that it was like two takes, so it changes it. I kind of wish they did that. Oh, also to explain the problem, in my last city, which I was recording, uh, I didn't actually put any landfill in. It was 15,000 people, I never put landfill in, and they never complained. I just didn't, just let notice to the team or people that want to exploit it, and then they complain about it. Uh, that's a thing that happens that probably should be fixed. Yeah, right now, we're doing pretty alright. Um, So, the most difficult thing I find is making money. So I placed down a lot of services at the start, and schools. Firstly, I'll put a high school, because it's like a big thing. I should put a stadium. It's got a stadium. Put that there. Get a road coming out here. Don't mind me saying here very weirdly. Get this guy. Oh no. If we get him on his side. Make a pretty cool school area. Oh look at that. It fits perfectly. I won't worry about health. Worry about that. So we get all the school stuff in one spot. Sweet. And then I'll fix the terrain because I hate that. Okay, that didn't work. Oh shit. Put the level. Put the school level. And then soften that. So we don't get the jagged edges at least. There we go. I find it pretty normal, uh, well not not that, but I just want it to be fancy. Uh, <laughs> I find it pretty normal to have a high school next to a primary school here in Australia, so that's what that's why I did that. I'll replace all those houses with low density. Probably a stupid idea, but oh well. So we can go back to this person. What is she doing? So we can go. This is where she works. This is the great thing about these games. The first one did it, but I think this one's improved. That's where she works. That's where she lives. Look at that. She can walk to work, so we don't have to worry about transport and all like that. So if you go to that extent of detail, you can predict what these guys are going to complain. Or how to fix problems, like, let's say... Um... Too much pedestrian traffic. We can go, all right, um, if we had a bus route or a bus route from there to there, which is a bit, but it's a bit much, but if we have a bus route, then there'll, all the pedestrians will go onto the buses and turn in more traffic problem. If you're having too much traffic, then um, you figure where they're going and make that road bigger. So all of this is like, you, you should be like looking down and looking at every single c civilian and just going like, oh yeah, where do you work? You work here and you work at Duck Toy, which is over there. Awesome. 
All right, uh, let's make some final touches because I'm nearly out my time limit already. Oh, that was quick. Oh, fuck. That's the one thing I don't like about this grid. It replaces roads that I don't want it to replace. Also, I hate building at night time. How do I change that? I don't? Well, that's a disaster. If anyone knows how to not do that, that would be much appreciated. Let's pause it so I can replace it back. You can just replace it like this. It's a bit different as the first one where it's a button and you click on the roads. Uh, this one you have to... You draw it over, which I guess is pretty cool, but uh, not really. 